When it comes to compositional elements in your designs, if perfection is what you're looking for, then the smart features in InDesign is what you want to take advantage of. So I'm going to go to File and Open, in Chapter 3, Folder 13 is Smart Rotations. Okay, and I've got a simple layout here. It says, use the two rectangles below to make an X on the page by using smart cursors with the rotate tool. Rotate one box 45 degrees, rotate the other one negative 45. So I'm just gonna pull this box down. There's that pink guide running right down the middle of the page. And I wanna make sure I go to view grids and guides and I have smart guides turned on. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is hover near a corner and I'm going to click and drag. And as I drag, I get this brown smart guide. In the upper corner, I'm getting a gray measurement box. So I can drag that exactly 45 degrees by using a smart rotation. It does the math for me, indicates the angle, so I can know when I'm at a perfect spot. I'll let go of the mouse. Now I'll drag this one down, kind of put it right on top centers over the centers go out to the other corner click and drag up until i get a negative 45 degrees and there we go there's a perfect x okay the problem is this is not a perfect x it only looks like it when i hit the letter w because they are colored the same but if i clicked on one and changed the color you can see it's just two different objects so I'm gonna show you in a future demo how you can blend these two together to truly make one big X instead of two overlapping rectangles. But just keep in mind, you have your smart guides and smart rotations. Just always look for that upper corner. A little gray box is doing the measurements for me as I drag. So if I wanted that to come down at 20 degrees, I actually know when I'm at 20 degrees. Okay, just be aware of those and use them while you're working on your compositional elements. That's it.